Okay, so um, I actually wanted to test the guidance system for a drone, but I wanted to test it first on a simulator, and so I wrote some code. Ended up spending too much time and actually writing very complicated code. It sort of looks like a game, but anyway, let's uh, see what it does at this point. And I'll be using this to actually test guidance algorithms for drone testing before I deploy it to a real system. But let me show you how it looks first. Um, so this is just, it looks like a game. This is not a run on Pi game. This is actually done on OpenCV. Um, so at the bottom is your missile launcher. It's not really a drone. This is, it ended up thinking, okay, if I'm going to do some guidance um, animation, I might as well use missile launchers and rockets. So let's start with targets first. So the targets will come from the left, like those. So it has a fixed velocity of 4 in this case, that's 4 pixels per clock cycle. Uh, it's not fixed, it varies from some random values around 4. So sometimes it's 3.8, sometimes 4.1, 4.2, and so on and so forth. So let's reset that. I can actually generate variations of that rocket. So if I keep on creating more rockets, they launch from left to right at different angles and different speeds. And the idea here is to actually try to hit that rocket with a missile, sort of an interceptor missile from the bottom. Uh, so let's reset that. Uh, let me show you one thing. Oh, before we do that, let me actually put the launcher sort of on the left side because the, what we're after is a missile that chases the target. So let me quit this first. Um, and let's go to the code. So here, the location of that is just the map width. So I put it as 0.10, um, 0.1 of the map width. So it's on the left side. Let's save that. And you can also see the other, the other constants that I use for the code. But we'll go through some of that uh, on this video and in the future videos. So this will be a bunch of a series of demonstrations. So this is going to be the simple introduction one. Anyway, let's go back to that. So now our launcher is on the left side, and so if I release a target, I can now launch a rocket or an interceptor missile to get that. It has this explosion animation, and boom. Now it doesn't really terminate the, the, the rocket, the target, and the reason for that is I actually want to keep on targeting that um, object a few times. Oh, that's too high, so let's change it. Reset change it so I can launch multiple <coughs> uh, interceptors and this the algorithm for the interceptor is fixed uh, it's really just a chase uh, system so in other words it just keeps on pointing to uh, where the target is at that point in time so if the target is moving perpendicular to the launcher of course there's a little bit of a lag and it will become very obvious sometimes if the missile is, is the target missile is very fast. In this case, it's not a problem because it's a velocity of 4 against a velocity of 6. So it's going to be caught. But it's going to be off screen, so let's reset that. And let's try a few one. So let's try a bunch of them. The animation slows down a little bit because all those objects that you see on screen, including the smokes particles, they're all objects. So updating them takes a little bit of time. Um, and so it seems to be working well. Okay, keeps on launching a rocket to high up, so we can probably change that. Okay, so that's from the left side. Let's try something different. What if we launch from the right side? So let me let's change this to nine. So now we are going to target the meet the rocket head on. Let's see. So this is going to be the obvious problem where it's going to sort of chase from behind. Um, because it's always lagging. So it doesn't really intercept the problem. It really just chases the, the target. And it has the benefit of being able to change the direction very quickly. 
but that's not always possible and I'll show you an example where it won't work so here um, let's go back to the code if I change the missile turn rate for example to let's see three so what it's doing is if I then encounter oh, that's going to be too high this actually also changed that in the code uh, target max angle let's just put in five maybe yeah, five and then maybe this is negative 15 so let's see what this does <coughs> so I now have more missiles going left to right I actually let's change something let's change it to minimum would be point 0.1 and let's make this point 0.4 so then this is just listed to sudden almost everyone all the rockets are just dropping down yep okay so that looks better is that that and now let's target this guy so this is sort of easy it's head-on it's in the same re region so um, the interceptor is just going to get that very easily because it's roughly there's no need to change direction uh, but let's see what happens with this guy so okay so that one missed it will try it will try to turn and it will get that and of course it will try to chase it from behind again but it's off screen so let's do something different let's change this to maximum turn rate because that was too slow so let's say four that's a four degrees per clock cycle in the game so let's run that again okay that's a miss so then this is going to recover from there okay so that's fine so the performance of the missile of course is based on its speed and its ability to turn uh, to change direction and it has sort of a proximity sensor so it explodes when it's near the target um, what if I think what's interesting is if we put it in the middle because this one we uh, we will see okay that's not a miss that's fine let's try a different one let's try a much faster target okay let's do hopefully a five okay this guy can turn quickly enough so it will miss it will chase that oh that's not what I wanted to show that's too fast I wanted it to loop when it misses okay not good let's change this to three back to three and Okay, maybe loop and I change this to two. So, um, I wonder if I can just do okay, that's probably fine. Okay, let's try this again. Target, okay, miss, and then it will be ahead. Yep, that's what I wanted. It will be ahead. So it will actually try to go back and chase from behind. Of course it will catch it because it's a four against six, but again off screen. Um, so let's try to change the turn rate to four. Yep, four, let's see. Okay, and then firing a bunch of these guys miss because it's too slow they will be ahead and then it will have sort of the intelligence well it's not really intelligence it's in the algorithm to cycle back and chase it from behind 
and it will get there before we reach off the side of the window I think nope oh, that's kind of annoying I wanted to see it okay this one is probably easy okay reset anyway I think that's sort of uh, actually that's let's, let's try one more thing let's try a little bit of a faster missile yeah let's go come on let's get get it before it goes off okay now well, let's uh, call that a win um, what if we have a faster missile let's say make it 10 so basically 10 pixels and but it make it really slow in turning what can it do Ooh, because it's very fast it's pretty good but again it misses and that's going to be a problem yep it's probably interesting if we do it from here um, okay nine target let's fire a bunch of these guys it can turn very quickly hopefully it gets there that's okay because it's head-on uh, it's a problem when it's about 90 degrees like this guy because it will be behind and it will just suck here it explodes because I made it explode at, at a certain altitude uh, let's get out there if I change it to a chase I think this is going to be uh, easy because then the closing angle is not going to be sharp well it is and it's close but but this guy is once it's a little bit further ahead it becomes pretty straightforward because again the the deviation from center is sort of not too much so what if we have a combination of fast speed and also really fast turn so let's say eight let's see now uh, that's going to be a really fast and really really agile interceptor nothing is going past it and let's actually create a little bit of an art thing Okay, there we go boom 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 more I guess I'm crazy and also just enjoying the code and so let's chase it let's see can we get there yep no okay just one before you go off oh my timing is terrible so let's see what if I'm now doing head-on collisions yes you're going down mister boom 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 okay let's reset let's, let's do something from up there yep okay that's good airliner let's shoot that that airliner with a rocket at the end yep there you go okay I think let's reset and let's stop it here um, and the next one we're probably going to run multiple missiles with different missile speeds turn rate and just so we can compare their performances against the same target and in a future demo I'll also have I have let's see one so this is chase algorithm I have a proportional guidance algorithm which is typically so much better um, so that works and I think that's also interesting to compare against this one and then I have a modification of proportional guidance uh, which is an, an, a better and a better version and then finally I have my own twist to guidance which I think is even better so there's probably three four five demos to the future um, so hang in there uh, for now let's stop this here